Hi guys, in this video, I am going to talk about non-monotonic reasoning. So basically, what is non-monotonic reasoning? A logic is non-monotonic if some conclusion can be invalidated by adding more knowledge. So we have seen in monotonic reasoning that if some conclusion can be derived from given clause then that conclusion is not going to change if we add more information. But unlike in non-monotonic reasoning, if we add more knowledge, then we can invalidate the conclusion that we have derived already. So how we can understand this? Let's take an example. I have created a robot which judges the behavior of person suppose one of my friend Utkarsh came to my home and he is drunk my robot judges the behavior that Utkarsh is drunk now from this clause he will infer that he is drunk because he, it might be case he is sad so this was our first conclusion that Utkarsh is sad because he is drunk and we don't know the reason. So now based on the given knowledge, we can infer the conclusion that he said because he had got breakup again. But if my robot check, his, check Utkarsh mobile and he finds the congrats message, then the robot will judge that if he is getting congrats message, then it might be a case he got placed in IBM then he is drunk because he is happy so in non-monotonic reasoning if some conclusion can be invalidated by adding more knowledge if a new knowledge is added then previous conclusion can be changed in non-monotonic reasoning non-monotonic reasoning is useful for representing defaults how this non-monotonic reasoning is useful useful for representing defaults we can say a default is a rule that can be used unless it is overridden by exception just like when we see any person who is drunk so what is the first thought that come to our mind that he is drunk because he is sad so default is a thing that is usually that you can and inferred unless it is overridden by exception like exception in this case was he was happy that's why he drunk in general what we say he is drunk because he is sad so more non-monotonic reasoning is useful for representing defaults you can say default is a value that can be changed by a exception if there is no exception then default value is going to remain constant so for defaults non-monotonic reasoning is useful for representing in non-monotonic reasoning it is a reasoning in which rules of inference are extended to make it possible to reason with incomplete information when Utkarsh Vastav came he was drunk so from based on this information or based on this incomplete information I inferred that he is drunk because he had got breakup again. But if I will add more clause, then that conclusion might change. So it is a reasoning in which rules of inference are extended to make it possible to reason with incomplete information. So when there is some incomplete information in real life examples, we don't have the complete information for given problem. With the help of some incomplete information, we can give the answer. For this type of situation, non-monotonic reasoning is used. In non-monotonic reasoning, at any given moment, a rule is either believed to be true, believed to be false, or believed either to or believed to be either. Just like in the example, Utka Srivastava is drunk because he had got breakup this was our first conclusion so we believe that utka Srivastava is sad means we believe to be false 
after adding another clause that he is drunk because he got placed in IBM, then that situation that he said is going to be false. And now next condition will be he is drunk because he is happy. If I add another clause that he is drunk because he is happy and said also, then both the statement are going to be false at particular point. So in non-monotonic reasoning, a given clause can be true at some point, can be false at another point and it can be both at the same point or both not at a given point. So this is all non-monotonic reasoning. Thank you.